Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing beautifully well. The next map for DCS is coming out, Syria. So that's going to be our 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th or 6th? Well, there's lots of maps. And the Marianas is coming out, so that's another one. And uh, the South Atlantic is coming out as well, so that's another one. And it's becoming hard to keep track of where these maps actually fit into the world and how big they are. Because if I take this map here, Persian Gulf, and I put it next to Channel Map, then, you know, it's, is it twice as big? Is it ten times as big? No one really knows. So we've created a couple of apps that allow you to go and compare them. So let's go and look at the first one we've got here. And these are all, come and use them all for free and whatnot, blah, blah. Blah, blah. So this is the first one. I have to give kudos to the brains that do this. We're lucky to have lots of brains in GR and this one is Mr. Roboto. This one is just a planet map and it's going to stretch them out. Um, the globe is a very complicated thing but this is a slightly simplified version of it. And we've got the maps in there. We've got Nevada, we've got Channel, we've got Normandy, we've got Caucasus, we've got Syria and we've got Persian Gulf. And we're going to have Marianas added in, and we're going to have uh, Falklands added in. Oh, we're going to have to stretch the map down when the Falklands comes out, but we'll get that done. How we did it is a little bit complicated, and there will be some argument about it. The problem is, how do we measure a map? So we can go into DCS. This is the outer limits of the Persian Gulf in DCS. Now, getting the coordinates is very easy, obviously, but where is the map actually modelled? So the way we model the map is going to the outer limits of the infrastructure. So this section over here... At the moment, there is no infrastructure. There are no roads. There are no towns. There's you've got some VORs here, but you know otherwise this here is not really modelled. So we don't count that as the map. Also, this kind of strip down here that's outside of this kind of gridded area is not populated. We haven't included that. This kind of bit of desert here is not populated. So the way we've done it is we looked where the roads are, where the towns are, and the bits are kind of if you like properly modelled and that's how we've decided where the outer limits are more or less in this one where these grid squares are is where we've taken that we've taken the northing and eastings the northing westings the southing and westings and whatever and we've put it on the map one thing that gets me is how big normandy is did you have any, any idea normandy was that big rc massive it's bigger yeah. than syria yeah so it's really big again how we've Great. measured that is up for debate but at least gives you a rough area nevada is also much smaller look at the size of nevada look at that compared with persian gulf again what I could say because of the modelled bit of Nevada, if you know what I mean, where the infrastructure is modelled. The size of Caucasus is less than half the size of Caucasus. Syria, we had to do it from the top left-hand corner, and we've had to do it just what they quoted, which was 600 kilometres by 500 kilometres, biased to north to south, so that's how we've done Syria. And look how small Syria is. I'm not saying small is good or bad, you know, the channel's awesome, but it's tiny. Uh, but just gives you people an idea of the areas that are covered in this map in terms of what's actually modelled. Uh, so that's that, and we'll keep that updated, and if you want to change anything, let me know, and we can change odds and sods there, and I'll give you the link in the video description. The next one, also very cool, and this one's going to be really cool. It's not fully made yet. In fact, these are all work in progress. Here, come here and use this. Um, all credit to Dev Fail, who's done this for us. This one has it's four windows, and whenever I... This is the master window at the top left. Whenever I zoom in, they all zoom in, to the same scale and this is all about comparing the maps if you want to compare one so let's say i want to and you can position them anywhere so let's say i'm going to position that Caucasus. i'm going to position that on persian gulf uh, a little bit fiddly i'm going to position that on nevada back here and then i zoom to a zoom there i can now compare these pretty much mile for mile of the of the more kind of modeled section and shows how big they are and that shows how look how big the model page a uh, bit of Persian Gulf is compared to Nevada, compared to Caucasus, compared to Channel. Look how tiny Channel is. Isn't that funny? And the funny thing is, I would have had, until we did this, I would have had no idea that this is a thing. And I just find that really interesting. So, what I want to see is when I've got the next 10 maps out and the whole world is basically covered. Wouldn't that be interesting, RC? RC says, yes, thank you for involving me in the video, Cap. That's okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mute myself, so I didn't interrupt you, and I forget. No, it, is. it would be cool if they had the whole world, but... No, you wouldn't want the whole world, because some of these areas, like, no. how much of Russia has actually got anything in it other than just... I don't want to say wasteland, but you know what I mean. Uh, so that's that. Now, the only other cool thing that we're going to add to this, we suddenly thought, okay, this is cool. Why don't we expand on this? What we're going to do is have this here but one big screen okay and you're going to be able to zoom in uh, to any of these maps uh, let's say persian gulf if i can find it where's persian gulf guys persian gulf okay and then you're going to right click on persian gulf and what will come up 
on that right click is all of the GR servers that are currently running Persian Golf. Okay, and let's say we've got a big game on our big Wednesday game, which is our big competitive modern match of the week. When that's going, you can come in here, right click on that. We can go, oh, look, the modern, the big fight's on. Click on the big fight. And you can actually zoom in at this point on one big screen and see in real time where all of our planes are during that match. So if you want, you can watch our stream as we stream and live stream on one screen. And on this screen, you can see where all of our planes are at any point. And it will have little labels and you can, you know, follow us around and get our stats and stuff. Now, tell me if that's not cool. Personally, I think that's friggin' awesome. Uh, so that's what we're working on. Uh, with Dev at the moment, RC. How do you feel about that little cheeky little idea? Kind of like L O T A T C. Yeah, it is. But this one would probably be specific for Grim Reapers because otherwise it would just be stupid, you know, thousands yeah. of servers and it would just be no point to it. So that's what we're going to do. Or you can jump in and see where someone is on the training server on, Cork on Auntie's Caucasus or whatever. I just think that's really awesome. Yeah. Anyway, the links are in here. We'll get to work on the third one that we're talking about. Uh, make use of them. I hope that was useful and see you later.